That is what you would call a perfect pure sine wave. Absolutely perfect. So why am I showing you a perfect sine wave? Well, because about 30 minutes ago, that looked like a terrible mess. It was blah, all over the place. I should have got a picture before. I didn't think about it until afterwards. But anyway, um, so how exactly did I fix this problem? Well, first of all, let's discuss the problem itself. Some of you may not even be aware that you have the problem. And the noise can actually vary from just a little bit of noise, line noise, all the way to it just being crazy off the charts. So what ended up happening was uh, during the 2017-2018 um, transformer phase, that is when PowerJack was getting transformers from a third party, they were using a bad, basically a bad core. Uh, not, well, at least I don't know if it was intentional or not, but according to them, it was not intentional. They, uh, the uh, iron ferret core that they used for these toroids was not as pure as it should have been, and it was causing some line noise. Um, so if you remember all the way back when I got my first inverter, um, the, the 2017, actually it would have been late 2016, uh, when I got the new 2017 7.0s, um, I was having an issue with L1 having noise on it, and it was blowing things like LED lights and things like that. Well, that was before I got an oscilloscope. So I got an oscilloscope, one of those little handheld oscilloscopes, and found out that there was a terrible amount of line noise on L1. Uh, so, of course, going back and forth with power jack, they didn't really understand at the time what was going on with it eventually they discovered it themselves but it went all the way into the 2018 units and it did not affect everybody it was a small sample i just got lucky to get the bad transformer i got it twice and i kid you not so the second time around when it destroyed my washer um i had finally requested that they send me a new transformer and this was before i worked for power jack so they did in fact send me a new transformer and it fixed the problem. Well, this is one of those warranty repairs that came in a while back. It had the line noise on it, and there was a couple of options: either disable L1 altogether, then sell the inverter as a L1 or a L2 only, or come up with a way to fix the problem or replace the transformer altogether. These transformers are rather expensive. They're rather heavy. They're expensive to ship, so it would have been more cost-effective to just disable L1. So I set this aside. And we were kind of brainstorming on how we could actually clean up this line noise because it's it, it, it's something that could be fixed through filtering. And that's exactly what we did. So that's why you're seeing this perfect sine wave here without a problem. And I'll show you what I did. So here is a charger board. This is an older charger board. Um, the new ones have the large uh, relays on top. But anyways... So this is an older charger board that is identical to the one that's in this unit right now. So you can see these red caps here. These actually help filter noise out of the signal that's coming from the transformer. These are actually for uh, the input side. You notice that the output side actually doesn't have any filtering whatsoever. So um, what will happen is if you do actually have a bad transformer or one that isn't it as pure as it should be then what will happen is l1 will generate an enormous amount of noise well because this wasn't an actual problem that was noticed within a reasonable amount of time this board design here which has carried over to uh three years almost of um inverters never did have any filters on the ac output side um, it was just never really necessary because when uh, the transformers were running, they you know whatever's in basically goes out. Um, that's you know that's the theory anyway. Whatever goes in goes out. So if you have a bad input, you're going to have a bad output. All the transformer does is step up the voltage to get you where you need. 
um, at the cost of more amps. Anyways, so uh, what we discovered is that through testing, and I've been working on this for a while, been um, you know testing different main boards and figuring things out. What we discovered is that we can actually install these filters onto L1 on the AC output side, and that actually f cleans up to make it absolutely perfect again. So I will go ahead and uh, turn off this inverter so that I can actually show you. Let me pause the video for a second. All right, so what you're looking at here right now is you can see that I've got, and this is kind of crude right now. Um, it's fully functional, fully working, and it's not going to pose any risk um, as far as uh, touching anything else in here. It's, it's pretty well down. But basically what I did was I installed two of these in line with the transformer output on L1. So, if you actually follow this line here, it actually goes down to the uh, the resettable fuses and then comes back up to connect um, to your outputs. So, you can see, maybe if you can read that or not, you got AC output L1, which is right here, okay? Um, so, by running a couple of... What they do, and it's it took me a while to figure this out, but what they actually do... For this 220, uh, for the transformer input, they actually run the transformer to this point right here, and then it actually outputs to transformer um, output uh, L1 right here. Um, so this is actually energized, and then in order to get the 220 for the plug, they just run a uh, they run a line in series. So um, you can see down here where it ends up. Now this glue is temporary. This is this is for me to test it. I've got some high temp glue on the way. Not that it's really going to matter, I don't think, because this glue is rated all the way up to, I think, uh, 220 degrees or something. Anyways, um, but uh, you could see what I did was I ended up soldering two of these together and using some glue just to keep them together so they don't flop around. And then connected it in line with the output side and the input side of L1. So basically, and this does not carry any current, um, so you don't have to worry about this wire overheating or anything. It actually doesn't carry current because the current actually goes through the board and it comes out here. So basically all you're doing is you're running a patch across here to filter out any noise that might be coming from the transformer and then filtering it out basically right here. So it's kind of like a loop. It filters the uh, sound or sound, the noise, the line noise out of whatever is coming from the transformer so uh yeah it looks a little crude but it works perfectly everything's been soldered together it's nice and strong um and this actually fixes the problem with the line noise now we're pretty confident that this is one of the contributing factors to the mosfets actually grenading um, because i have run inverters on just l2 all day long that is disconnecting the transformer, a noisy transformer, from the uh, L1 portion of the inverter charger board, it'll run all day. And as soon as I connect this back up, it blows all the MOSFETs. Because there's so much crap going through there, it's so noisy, and it throws the MOSFETs off. Because the MOSFETs are nothing more than switches. Uh, think of them as like three-way switches. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, that's kind of the modification if you're interested in this all of the inverters that go through my warehouse that are that uh, I, I test them all for this and I'm going to start adding this modification to it to help clean up the line uh, line one noise but if I'd known back then when I got my first inverter that this was uh, the fix then I obviously would have done that and not worried about it it does affect more of the 24 volt than it does the 48 volt transformers for some reason um, so something to think about um, and of course I will be testing all of the inverters that come through here, making this modification for warranty work as well. Uh, once again, check out that genitrysolar.com website and for the 50th thousandth, two millionth time, yes, um, I've got a part shipment coming in, spare parts, and they will be going up slowly but surely and be able to help you out there. So if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.